Okay, notice the difference between example one and example two. Example one didn't have any words. The expression was just between the two inequality signs. This one has the word or. Most of the time, when you go to graph an or, the, the number line when you go to graph are gonna graph in different directions, which means that it just needs to, one of them at the same time needs to be true. So what I mean by that is this one can be true or this one can be true, but they probably will not be true at the same time. So the first thing we need to do is solve them just like we normally do. So in order to solve this, what would I do? I'm going to divide by 5. And 15 divided by 5 is? Okay. How am I going to solve this one over here? Divide by negative 3. And J is going to be greater than or equal to? Oh, yep, yep, what did we forget to do? Thank you. We forgot to flip the inequality. I love when I do that, and I'm videotaping. Thank you for reminding me. So because we divided by a negative, we need to flip the inequality sign. And our answer is going to be negative 7. Yes, you have to draw a number line. You guys on the test, most of your number lines will be drawn for you. I'll draw them for you, but you have to put the numbers in, so I'll meet you halfway. So we're going to start with negative 7, which means I'm going to put a negative 8 here. And I'm going to label all the way down to positive 3. I probably will go past positive 3 because I can, and it's always good too. Open or closed circles? Closed. Okay, the line, so I'm going to put an open, I'm going to put a closed circle on positive 3, I'm going to put a closed circle on negative 7. Now, one of these has to be true at one time. They both, they both have to be true in order to graph there, okay? I mean, I'm sorry. One of them has to be true in order to graph. I'm going to plug in 0. What is 5 times 0? For this, is, I'm going to show you why it doesn't work. What is 5 times 0? Is 0 greater than 15? So that's false. I'm going to plug in 0 for this side. What is negative 3 times 0? Is 0 greater than negative 21? So they're both false, so I can't shade in between. When you have an or, one of them has to be true. One of them has to be true. So let's just try negative 10. What is 5 times negative 10? Is negative 50 greater than or equal to 15? No. Let's plug in negative 10 over here. What's negative 3 times negative 10? What's negative 3 times negative 10? It's positive 30. Is 30 greater than or equal to 21? Oh, so this I can shade here. Notice that 1 was true. That's all I care about. When there's an or, one of them has to be true. 0 made them both false. I can't shade there. What do you think is going to happen on this side? If I pick a number that's greater than 3, I'm going to pick 10. You guys notice that anytime I pick a number, I always pick 0, right? If 0 is in between, I pick 0 because it's easy to plug in and do in my head. I pick 10, it ends in a 0. Again, easy to plug in. I'm not looking for you to spend a lot of time on this. So 10, 5 times 10 is? Is 50 greater than 15? Yes. Then we're going to shade this way. We're going to do set builder notation.
Okay, where does this end? We know it starts at negative seven, right? Where does it end? Good afternoon, this goes this goes to negative infinity. It starts at we don't know where it goes, so it's in, it keeps going and going. That's why it's negative. It stops at negative seven, and there's a bracket because it's a closed circle. Union means we're combining both of those answers because of the or. That's why the un, that u is there because it's or. It's bracket because it's because it's a closed circle. It starts at three and then it's going to continue forever.